Hey friends, today we're going to open the file on one of Iran's scariest swords, a missile named after Imam Ali's legendary sword that has really frustrated the enemy. If you want to know how Zulfagar hits pinpoint targets and what secrets it holds, definitely stay with me until the end because I'm going to surprise you. Let's get straight to the point. The Zulfagar is a short-range ground-to-ground ballistic missile that runs on solid fuel and has become famous for its high agility. The guys at the Ministry of Defense Aerospace Industries built this relying on indigenous knowledge and it was back in 2016 during a formal ceremony that they unveiled it. You might find it interesting to know that the Zulfagar is sort of considered the grandson or descendant of the famous Fatah 110 missile, but it is much more advanced. In fact, Iranian designers took the fourth generation of the Fatah and with a bunch of cool changes, multiplied its range and accuracy to finally achieve this tactical monster. In terms of looks, this missile is about 10 meters and 30 centimeters long, and its diameter is something around 68 centimeters, making it a bit chubbier than the Fateh. These compact dimensions allow it to easily mount on mobile launchers so they can move it around very quickly and fire it from any point they desire. The tonal weight of this missile at launch is about 4,600 kilograms, which is a significant number, but the more important point is the launcher system. Each launcher truck can carry and fire two of these missiles simultaneously, which means the volume of fire doubles and the enemy doesn't get a chance to breathe. The beating heart of the Zulfagar is a single-stage engine that uses advanced solid composite fuel, and unlike old missiles, it's always ready to fire without fueling delays. This means the missile can be prepped and sent towards the target in the shortest possible time, which is a vital and decisive feature in modern-day warfare scenarios. Now let's get to its range. Zulfagar can level targets to the ground at a distance of 700 kilometers, which counts as a very good strategic range. This means many enemy bases in the region are completely within reach and range of this missile, and Iran can inflict heavy blows from deep within its own soil. The speed of this missile is truly terrifying. Zulfagar moves at a speed of about Mach 5, which is something around 1.5 kilometers per second. This high speed gives enemy defense systems very little time to react, effectively catching them by surprise, because by the time they move, it's already too late. But what makes Zulfagar special isn't just speed, but its incredible striking accuracy, known as pinpoint precision, with a reported error of less than 10 meters. Its guidance system is a mix of inertial and satellite tech designed to be anti-jamming, meaning electronic noise won't affect it and it goes straight for the bullseye. One of the very important technical features of the Zulfagar is that its warhead has the ability to detach from the main body in the final phase. This feature ensures that when the missile re-enters the atmosphere, its accuracy and speed are maintained while tracking and hitting it becomes much harder for enemy air defenses. The warhead of this missile packs about 450 to 500 kilograms of explosives, creating truly high destructive power capable of totally destroying concrete buildings. They've also built a rain or cluster warhead version for it that opens up in the air to thoroughly plow a wide area like an airport runway or troop concentration. The story of this missile family doesn't end there. A few years later, they introduced the Desfool missile as the bigger and more powerful brother with more range. Desfool looks very similar to Zulfagar, but its range reaches a thousand kilometers with a heavier warhead, showing Iranian engineers aren't sitting idle and are constantly upgrading this generation. There's another masterpiece in this family called Zulfagar Basir, which is very special and designed specifically to hit maritime targets and enemy warships. This model has an optical seeker head that can find moving vessels in the sea and ruin the day for enemy destroyers with that same 700-kilometer range. Zulfagar is one of the few Iranian missiles that has passed its test in a real battlefield and isn't just theory, having been used in actual ops against terrorists. It was in 2017 when the IRGC pounded ISIS headquarters in Deir ez-Zor in Syria with these very missiles in response to the Tehrant terror attacks, showing off its precision. Once again in 2018, after the terror attack in Avoaz, Zulfagars were fired towards the east of the Euphrates to take revenge for the martyrs' blood from the terrorists. In this operation, called Strike of Muharram, the missiles fit buildings with strange accuracy 
and released images prove these missiles are truly pinpoint accurate and no joke. The entry of Zulfagar into Iran's combat organization caused older liquid fuel missiles like the Qiyam to slowly retire and give their place to this new agile generation. Since Zulfagar is more accurate, preps faster, and lacks the maintenance headaches of liquid missiles, it makes sense for it to take over and make the missile unit's job easier. If we want to compare it with the Fatech Lun-10, I must say Zulfagar's range has more than doubled, which is a huge leap, allowing Iran to hit farther targets. Despite the range increase, its dimensions didn't grow much, meaning fuel and body technology advanced significantly to fit such power into roughly the same size. At the regional level, Zulfagar is considered a tough rival for tactical missiles of other countries like Russia's Iskander and lacks nothing in terms of precision and efficiency. The 5 to 10 meter accuracy of this missile places it in a class that can hit sensitive point targets rather than just aimlessly exploding a general area. Interestingly, this technology hasn't stayed solely with Iran, and there are reports saying the Yemenis have also obtained missiles similar to the Zulfagar and are using them. The Ansar Allah of Yemen possesses missiles with which they've conducted precise attacks, and it is even claimed they had successful launches up to the vicinity of Israel. The mass production line for this missile opened back in 2016, and now a large number of them are stocked and depoted in Iran's IRGC warehouses and underground missile cities. Released images show that Iran has reached full self-sufficiency in producing this missile so that on a rainy day, they can pour a rain of missiles on aggressors. One of the biggest tactical advantages of the Zulfagar is the shoot and scoot capability, which increases security and saves the lives of the launcher crew. This means the launcher fires the missile and before the enemy can pinpoint its location, quickly leaves the area and hides in a shelter to avoid being hit. The guidance system of this missile checks its position many times along the path to ensure it hasn't deviated and is heading exactly towards the target coordinates. Using advanced inertial navigation and assistance from satellites ensures the error margin is minimized and it hits exactly where the commanders designated it to hit. The construction and operation of Zulfagar sent a very clear message to Iran's regional enemies that the era of hit and run is over and Iran has a long reach. This missile showed that Iran has the ability to hit any point within a 700-kilometer radius with mathematical precision, creating massive deterrence for the country. Of course, Iranian engineers aren't satisfied with just this and are likely working on newer versions with lighter composite bodies like carbon fiber to boost efficiency even more. Using new materials can reduce weight and increase range even further, just like they did in the newer Rod 500 missile where they cut the weight in half. Thanks for staying with me until the end of this video to hear the story of Iran's sharp sword, the Zulfagar ballistic missile, and getting to know its cool features. If you like this style of military videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, and write in the comments which missile or weapon you want us to check out next time.